Hi, and welcome to our series on materials for 3D printing. Today, we are talking about Nylon PA-12. It's the most commonly used material in additive industry and is known for being able to create parts that are chemically resistant, stable over long periods of time, strong, and functional. Keep in mind that PA stands for polyamide, and nylon is simply the commercial name for polyamide. In this video, we will stick to saying Nylon 12. Nylon 12 has been created for several different 3D printing processes. Extrusion-based, FFF, Selective Laser Sintering, SLS, and HP's Multi-Jet Fusion, MJF. However, it's truly optimized for, and used most in, SLS. In this video, we'll focus mainly on the use of Nylon 12 for SLS 3D printing. Let's start with the basics. What is Nylon 12 exactly? It's a synthetic thermoplastic polymer. Thermoplastic materials become liquid at their melting point. For Nylon 12, the melting point is around 176 degrees Celsius, the lowest of all nylon polymers. The material is made from omega amino lauric acid, or laurolactime monomers, that each have 12 carbons, hence the name Nylon 12. For SLS 3D printing, Nylon 12 comes in a powder form. A thin layer of the powder is spread on a printing bed, and then a laser binds the powder particles together. When the parts come out of the printer, they have a grainy surface. However, it's one of the easiest materials to add a finish to. Nylon 12 parts can be painted, impregnated, coated, covered, and sandblasted. Let's move on to the benefits of this material. First, it's good for printing complex and detailed parts. This is mainly because there are no support structures needed during SLS printing. Support structures interfere with design freedom and are hard to remove, especially on small detailed surfaces. For Nylon 12, as long as the minimum wall thickness of 0.8 millimeters is met, your options are virtually limitless. Just be wary of large flat areas as the parts are printed in high temperatures and are prone to warping during the cooling process. Our production partners are experts and will apply a slow, natural cooling process to your parts if they require it. Second, the material is really strong. This polymer is especially known for its resistance to cracking when under stress. Before it breaks, it would bend, making this material really flexible. Its tensile strength is 48 megapascal. Flexural strength is 41 megapascal. Its elongation at break is 18%. Third, it's chemical resistance. Nylon 12 has outstanding chemical resistance to aliphatic hydrocarbons, oils, greases, and alkalis. Fourth, stability over longer periods of time, like it being insensitive to cracking. Its strength even below zero temperatures. Hardness, resistance to abrasion, and of course, it being very chemically resistant. Nylon 12 also absorbs very little moisture. Because of that, parts made from Nylon 12 are dimensionally very stable even when humidity levels fluctuate. It's therefore ideal for applications when safety, durability, or reliability over time is critical. But keep in mind, Nylon 12 does have a tendency to discolor over time due to UV exposure. Alternatively, a UV coating is a good option as well. Finally, let's discuss some of the applications that Nylon 12 is used in. The material is suitable for prototypes, detailed complex parts, fully functional models, and end products. Applications can range from anatomical models, jewelry, architectural maquettes, packaging, machine parts, to eyewear, and more. That's it for our episode on Nylon 12. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave any question that you have in the comments below, or go to our website to find out more. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.